One of the most heated exchanges during the gubernatorial debate between Brad Little and Paulette Jordan was over Prop 1, the ballot initiative to legalize horse racing machines. KTVB's Joe Paris verifies if a major claim during the debate is true. During the gubernatorial debate, Lieutenant Governor Brad Little claimed that the expansion of Indian gaming has hurt Idaho horse racing revenue. Watch. Horse racing was doing fine until Indian gaming expanded, the lottery expanded. So now you're blaming the tribes. I, I'm saying that the revenue, you can go back and look at the records. Tribes are very rural this. Economies. Look at the revenue that was going into horse racing prior to the expansion of Indian gaming. In 2002, an Idaho voter initiative passed, allowing the expansion of Indian gaming by allowing casino-style gambling, including blackjack, slot machines, and electronic adaptations of any game of chance. So the question here is, did that in fact affect the amount of money that people gambled on horse racing, making business harder? Is there a link there? Well, to answer that, first, here is some backstory. In 1990, simulcast horse racing was introduced as a new event for Idahoans to bet on. So from 1990 on, people could go to racetracks and bet on races from out of state tracks to fulfill their gambling desires. Now at the time in the 90s, because Indian gaming revolved around very basic games, simulcast racing at horse tracks was seen by many as the best gambling experience available in the state of Idaho. So simulcast racing became the big draw for Idaho horse racing, helping generate a lot of money. Now, records from the Idaho State Racing Commission on the total amount of money bet on simulcast racing shows that after the expansion of Indian gaming, there was a clear decline. From over $25 million in 1996 to just over $2 million in 2016. And you can see in the early and mid 2000s, as Indian gaming expanded to bigger and better options, the interest in simulcast racing at tracks went down. At Le Bois Park in Boise, for example, there was a large overall decline in simulcast racing from the success they saw in the 1990s. In the immediate aftermath of the expansion of Indian gaming, from 2003 on, there was a steady decline. Le Bois also saw significant total losses during that time, sometimes over a million dollars a year. The site that saw the biggest decline, though, was at the Greyhound Park in Coeur d'Alene. That site only hosts simulcast horse racing, but they are a part of the Idaho horse racing system. Of note, the Greyhound Park is in close proximity to the Coeur d'Alene Casino. It's important to note, though, that for simulcast racing, not all Idaho horse racing venues were down from 2003 through 2015. At Sandy Downs in Idaho Falls, for example, even though at times there were closures over the years, they were slightly up. So what does this all mean? Well, while it is impossible to correlate one single thing to the decline of money gambled on Idaho horse racing, we can verify that Lieutenant Governor Brad Little is correct. Gambling amounts at racetracks has shown a clear decline since the expansion of Indian gaming, specifically with that simulcast betting. That fact alone has made business a little bit harder for Idaho racetracks. Reporting in the Verify Center, Joe Paris, Idaho's News Channel 7.